What's up ladies and gents, KG Drifty here, and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys some Last of Us tips on how to defeat the bloater on the all new grounded mode on the Last of Us Remastered Edition, or just on the Last of Us on the PlayStation 3 version. So, uh, we all know grounded mode is one of the hardest difficulties in the game so far, and literally, uh, I couldn't stress more on how much I died on this part. And it, it just it just took me a while just to beat this guy until I found out a, a, a easier way to kill this guy and you can probably kill him under maybe 10 to 15 minutes. It, it depends on how well you like are good at the game and depends on how well you know how to dodge and etc. And um, for you to, to uh, kill him, you have to use a lot of running and a good advanced method. So. What I mean by that, it's like when you're going against the bloater, as you guys know, on the mission, um, on the part where you have to find a car with Bill, and then you go into the um, school and you have to fight the bloater. The way to um, actually, you know, complete the mission, the first part you have to do is you got to work on dodging and running. That's the most important thing, especially if you have low health. But the best thing, like I said, the best thing is to do is just run and dodge because you will be having a lot of, you'll be having about one or two zombies, two zombies in the beginning and then one after you kill the last two. So you always have to be precise and be, you know, alert of, especially when, the, um, especially when the bloater throws his little, his little spore things. So that's one thing you have to look out on. As you guys can see in the video, I die a couple of times by his stupid spores. So... Yeah, it, it, you gotta you gotta be very you know very fast, very quick, and very you know alertive when you're playing this part because you have to do a lot of running and a lot of dodging, and you gotta like you know kind of step away from Bill and Ellie because you know they sometimes get in the way, so you cannot run from the guy or even run from the spore. So the best method that you can possibly do is shoot, use a magnum, pick up the magnum bullets, use a magnum, and shoot at his little spore spore spots. Um, those little. I don't know what you call those, the little yellow orange ball thingies that's sticking on his body. But I recommend shooting at the first two things. The first one is one in the bottom by his hip and then one on his chest. So it's pretty hard. It pretty takes it takes a lot of time, especially when he keeps throwing his score balls or whatever. So it, it makes it a little bit more difficult for you to like actually kill the guy. That's why it said to take that's why I said it takes about 15, 10 to 15 minutes to tops. To really kill him, and not only that, maybe longer because uh, you will die a couple of times. I, I, I'm, I'm just putting it out that you will die maybe about five to six times max. I mean, I died more than that, but like I said, it just it all depends on how you play and how how you are as a person in the game. So like I said, if you're really at, like literally that good at all that type of stuff, then you'll be able to dodge them quick. You know, get get kill them way faster, but. Like I said, the first thing you do is just shoot him on, shoot him in his two little spore spots, one on the hip and one on the chest. And then once you do that, it's all I recommend having a shotgun. So when you have the shotgun, you can shoot him. I mean, maybe sometimes it, it probably it will work sometimes, but I'm guaranteeing it will work always. But you have to run up on him close at a good range, not not a range enough so he can come up on you and then you know rip your mouth apart. But I recommend you going up close, like as you guys can see in the video, go close up to him and then shoot him in the stomach with the shotgun. If you shoot him in the correct spot and the perfect time, you'll automatically kill the uh, kill the bloater. And that I think that's one of the fastest ways you can kill the guy if you don't have like a Molotov. But if you have a Molotov, then you can kill him like way faster. Probably throw one at him and then just start shooting him with the shotgun. And um, one thing you have that you have to always be aware of is the runners because there will be. So in the first part of it, it will be two runners coming at you. You take them out. You shoot, shoot, like you shoot them, run back, shoot them, fight them. Basically, you got to shoot, fight, shoot, fight. But I recommend shooting instead of fighting because, I mean, I recommend fighting instead of shooting. I'm sorry. Because it's way better for you to do fist-to-fist -fist combat instead of wasting all your ammo on one uh, mainly, miserly, miserly zombie. So after you take out the two runners, and, um, you'll have one more. Run you'll have just have one runner left. So I recommend just always wait till the blower to throw his little uh, spores balls at you first, so you can dodge them and miss them. You then have enough time to uh, kill and hit the runners, as you guys can see in the video. So always keep that in mind. So the mo the main important thing is to the punch, dodge, and run. That's the main important thing. Like I said, you will die m multiple times. It just depends on how you play it and how you do it. But 
everybody else, everyone has their different ways of killing the bloater faster, but this is just my way of helping you to learn how to kill the bloater faster on grounded mode. So, I hope you guys kick these tips, and I hope these tips helped you out well, because, um, you know, it helped me out a lot, and this is probably one of the best methods I can have for, especially for grounded mode, if you don't have a Molotov, or a smoke, or not a smoke bomb, or a, a bomb, or a smoke bomb, etc. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to check out more videos, uh, make sure you hit the like button and support this video, give it a thumbs up, and not only that, subscribe if you want to see more tips and tricks videos. I will be doing a little tips and tricks series on this game on grounded mode to get past the grounded mode difficulty because it's literally one of the hardest things ever. And I'm really I'm not even all that far, but it's pissing me off. Even though I beat this game on all this all the modes. But yeah, so if you guys like I said, if you guys enjoy this, share it with your friends, share it with your friends, family. And um, also if you guys want to watch me live stream it, live the remastered version, make sure you follow me on Hello. Twitch and also watch my streams. I will be streaming seven o'clock PM Eastern time. I mean now Eastern. Yeah, Eastern. No, Pacific, sorry. Pacific and ten o'clock Eastern. So you guys can check that out. It will be in the description below below if you guys want to check that out as well and also if you want to stay in contact make sure you guys leave comments support and everything else uh, like I said I love helping you guys out loving you guys giving you guys tips etc and not only that I will be having another video out soon and in, in, in about in three three to two more days and um, just to get out the maps and stuff so I hope you guys enjoy my great more great videos coming soon so that's all I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys check out the other two videos on the screen. If you haven't seen them yet, I'll peace out you guys. Live it up. Enjoy life. Have fun. Peace.